Now the first thing or the first tip is selecting the perfect domain extension. Now there are so many different extensions available in the market. Some of the really popular ones include .com, .net, .org, .co, .biz and there are many bizarre dom domain names like .rock, .professor, .lawyer, .xyz and so on and so forth. Okay. Now although there are many different domain names available, you should always go with the .com extension and there are two major reasons for that. The first one is that people are more familiar with .com domains than with anything else. They will default to typing .com into the browser address bar and are unlikely to remember your extension if it's too weird. Everyone will always assume a website is a .com. Okay, so very, very important. The second reason is the .com extension is used by three fourths of all websites. So if you can't get the .com, go with other well-known extensions like .co or .net or .org. Now they are different. Uh, for example, if you're creating a website for an organization, then .org will be better than the .com one. Okay. But if you're creating a website for a business, for e-commerce and so on, there is another thing that suppose you're creating a website for a specific country like for India, then you can select the country specific thing like dot in naya dot in and so dot in or if you're creating a website targeting only one particular country like UK, you can select your website name dot UK. Okay, so in these cases, you can select dot org or country specific uh, domain like dot in or uh, something like that. But for most of you guys, for most of the website, I would recommend you to select the dot com one. That is the most common one, most popular one. And people really, you know, default to type that uh, extension at the end of any website. Okay. So this was the first uh, tip that we have to select the perfect domain extension and I recommend selecting .com. Now let's move on to the second one. The second tip is to choose a brandable name. Okay. We all know that branding is crucial in a long term success, but what exactly makes a domain name brandable? Now that is a million dollar question. There are many factors that come into play here, but the most important ones are as follows. First, a brandable name has no specific meaning. Example, Google. Google doesn't have any meaning. YouTube, it is also, it does not have a meaning either. Okay. So a brand name does not need to have a meaning. Okay. It's, it should not have a specific meaning. The second one is that it should be unique. Your competitors should not use anything similar. Okay. Or you should not use any similar domain name like your competitor is using. Very, very important. The third one is that it should be easy to memorize, not too wordy, not complex vowel combinations. Okay. Simple word like Google, very simple and easy to remember, easy to pronounce, very, very easy. Okay. So it should be easy to memorize and also it should be easy to pronounce and dictate over the phone. Okay. So this is also a very important point that many experts say that this should be very important point. Like someone asks you about your domain name and you are on a phone, then you can say, okay, it's google.com. It's nayer.com. It should not be a complicated or a lengthy word that should, you know, that should confuse the person on, on, uh, on the other side. Also, it should sound trustworthy. Now, some names can be a little shady by definition. For in, for example, win the lottery today.com may be too bold, but loterio.com sounds b way better. Okay. Okay. So to make this process a, a little easier, you can experiment with some combination of actual words and run random suffixes like we have seen in the above examples, you know, loterio.com. Okay. So I hope this, uh, tips help you. Okay. So this was the second one to choose a brandable name. Now the third tip is to avoid hyphens, numbers and double letters. Very, very important again. Now I have seen many people keeping website like nayer hyphen shake.com nayer underscore shake.com. Okay. These kind of website. Now don't do this mistakes. Okay. Now, because numbers and hyphens are often misunderstood. People who hear your website uh, address doesn't know if you're using a numeral five or if it's uh, spelled out five, like F I V E five. Okay. Also never create a domain name with hyphens. Hyphens can be a sign of spam domains, which you do, do not want to be associated with. You don't want to give the wrong impression to potential visitors. Hyphenated domains are also prone to typos. If you choose a domain name with hyphens because the domain name you want is already taken, 
your users will end up to your competitor's site if they forget to type in the hyphens okay so very very bad idea to use any hyphen numbers or double letters now double letters also avoid that because it increases your chances of losing traffic to typos okay for example if you're creating a website domain like wordpress setup now wordpress uh, already has double s and the setup has s at the beginning so if you're creating a website and the domain name is wordpress setup.com which has three consecutive s it will be more prone to typos and result in lost of traffic okay so avoid these things so this was our third tip let's move on and the fourth tip is to show is to keep it short simple and predictable now make sure your domain name is short try to keep it under 10 to 15 uh, characters don't ever exceed or try to not exceed the 15 characters because that would be really long one okay also keep your domain name simple which means avoid hyphens underscores or any complicated word as part of the domain now we talking about predictable make sure you don't use any weird spellings for example we can see an example over here suppose if your name is mike with y okay y m y k mike and you want to make uh, it a part of your domain such as mike blogs mike website.com then every single time people will mistype it as m i k mike blogs.com okay so avoid these things now this brings us to our fifth suggestion or our fifth uh, a point or a fifth tip that we have to if you are creating something like this buy the other extensions and common misspellings of your domain like we have seen in the previous example if you want to create or if you want to include your name and if your name is myke then also buy the mike version okay so mike blogs and mike blogs with i okay so make sure to do though do so okay now that will obviously increase some expenses but you know if your budget is that much you can do so and also you can buy some uh, other extensions like my website name is blogdo.com now i can buy blogdo.in as well okay if i fear that someone will use this uh, to for you know wrong purposes and if i have the uh, capacity and money i it is a very good idea to buy some other extensions as well because you know if you go in the market if you go to some website and search for google and you search any damn uh, you know domain extension like .com, .rock, .io, .whatever that thing will not be available now obviously it's a big brand and you cannot get a brand domain name but at the same time they acquire all the extensions okay so if you can do so uh, get as many extensions as possible with the same name okay and with some misspellings like blogdude.com can be blogdud.com or blogg you know like that so if you if possible do that now the sixth step is to make it pronunciable and we have seen this example uh, previously that we have to make a website that is easy to pronounce over phone you know very very important we don't want to keep some really tough word including so many vowels that you know whenever we pronounce it to someone they would be like what can you please repeat what was that name i don't remember that name that is not at all easy to remember okay so please make sure that your domain name is pronunciable it's easy short simple okay so this was our six, uh, six tip now let's move on to the seven tip that we have to use keywords very sensibly now it's true that having some keywords in your domain name can help however you shouldn't bend over backwards to include exact match phrases doing so can actually hurt your brand google caught on this spammy tactic so an exact match keyword domain isn't much of a ranking factor anymore besides many users have developed the impression that such sites are spammy and low quality which men's athlete now let me ask you one thing which men's athletic shoe domain do you think sounds more professional and trustworthy the first one being sportsdirect.com and the second one buy men's sports shoes.com okay so obviously it's the first one now i would like to give you a simple advice you know avoid using generic keywords and phrases exclusively not only are they hard to remember but domain names based solely on generic keyword strings don't carry the same seo benefits that they used to the next step is to use a dictionary or a thesaurus for domain name ideas 
Fine, now let me tell you one thing very clearly. No matter what I say about picking a domain name that's brandable, simple, has a good ring to it, it's easy to remember and so on and so forth. The fact of the matter is that coming up with a truly good name is really, really difficult. Sometimes you'll easily go through tens of different terms before you settle on the perfect one, while other times nothing will seem good enough. In that case, thesaurus.com or vocabulary.com or websites similar to this like dictionary.com can be a secret weapon in your arsenal. These sites will help you find synonyms and also provide quick, quick definition to help you not make a silly mistake by building your domain name around a word with a meaning you have misunderstood. Okay. Now you should note one thing that we have already seen this in the previous example that try to use some different suffixes, use a regular random word and some different suffixes like for lottery for example we have seen loterio.com something like that okay. So that you get a different product name, a unique name and a brandable name. Okay, very, very important. Use the word, search the word in the dictionary, in thesaurus, whatever you find is good and use some different suffix to make it unique. Now moving on to our next tip, you know, you can help yourself to some domain name generators. This is another kind of helper that you can use if you're finding it hard to come up with a cool domain name and thus by extension your business name as well. These tools are very simple to use and also surprisingly helpful. All they need is one keyword from you. Okay. Now the last tip is to register your corresponding social media handles. Now this has also become very important these days because what happens is if your website becomes popular it will be difficult for you if you have not already you know signed up with Facebook or Twitter then it will be difficult for you to in the future to get the same username. For example my website name is blogtoot.com now if I want to create a page on Facebook I should try to select the same name okay like facebook.com slash blogtoot okay that will be very very nice twitter.com slash blog dude. So you should do these things immediately because if you don't do this, if your website becomes popular, someone will surely get your website name and they will keep uh, their username as that name and that name will be unavailable in the future. So that is not a good idea. All right, guys. Now these were the 10 tips from my side that I think will really, really help you guys uh, in, you know, selecting uh, your perfect domain name. I hope this video helps you. If you found this help video helpful, make sure to give a thumbs up to this video. If you have any doubt, any queries, if you want any suggestions from me, if you want to, you know, suggest me something, if you have some uh, ideas for me, then leave them in the comment section below and make sure to click on that red subscribe button and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. All right, guys. So thanks a lot for watching this video. See you soon.